with Blanca Rangel. So today I'm going to show you how to solve problem 12.46 of night. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. OK. Perfect. OK, so for problem six, we have a two kilogram, 20 centimeter turntable that rotates at 100 revolutions per minute on a friction bear frictionless bearings. Then we have two 500 grams blocks fall from above and hit the turntable simultaneously at opposite ends of the diameter and stick. And they stick. So they want us to know what is the turntable's final velocity, angular velocity, in revolutions per minute just after this event. Perfect. So, of course, we're going to make a drawing. We'll draw the turntable in the axis of rotation. Uh, and we're going to assume that is about the center. Okay, so we have this turntable and it's rotating. Um, here it says that it's positive, so it's going to rotate counterclockwise. Okay, kind of like that. Okay, it's turning counterclockwise. Then we have two blocks just hanging here, but they're not moving, they're not rotating, so the angulars are zero. Okay. And at the end, we have the turntable. With the pole. And the squares. Now everything is rotating. Counterclockwise. Okay. So once we have our drawing, we have to identify a system. So my system is going to be both blocks plus turntable. So these two objects together. Okay. So this type of problem. Since we identified the system to be these two objects, then we have no, no external forces acting upon this. So if there's no external forces, then momentum is conserved. Okay. So momentum is conserved. I have my system. So now we're going to have that linear, uh, I'm sorry, linear, angular momentum initial equals momentum final. It's conserve. Conservation of momentum. Perfect. Okay. So we have a conservation of momentum. We have the beginning we have only one object is rotating so we're going to have inertia of the turntable then the angular velocity initial mm -hmm. and at the end i have one two three objects rotating but they are rotating as a inelastic collision, so they all stick together and rotate together. So I'm going to have the summation of the two inertias of the blocks plus the inertia of the turntable times the final velocity. Okay. So we have these objects. Mm -hmm. So let's first find the inertia 
of the table. So we identify that as a cylinder or a disk about its axis on the center. So the inertia is one half mass times radius is square. Okay. So the radius is 10 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. Okay. The mass of the turntable is 2 kilograms. All right. So let's do that. Inertia of the turntable equals to one half mass of two kilograms times the radius. So that's 10 times 10 to the minus two square. And I'm gonna get a value of mm -hmm, 0 0.1. Kilogram meter square. That's our moment of inertia. Now, the moment of inertia of the blocks, they are at the end of the diameter. So the radius is like this. So since we don't have like a specific shape, we're going to assume the um, just just our regular formula that is just mass times radius square. So we have mass times radius square. So the mass is 0 0.5 and the radius is 0 0.1. Yeah. So we're going to have 0 0.5 kilograms times 0 0.1 square. So we have a momentum, a momentum of 0 0.1 square mm -hmm. times 0 0.5. Okay. 5 times 10 to the minus 3 or 0 0.05. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we had the momentum, so we have the initial RPM. So let's look for the final one. So have inertia, angular, initial. And here I'm going to divide this on both sides of the equation. So we're going to have two of the blocks plus ET turntables times initial speed is going to be equal to the final angular velocity. So now I'm going to replace the numbers. So for the inertias, I'm going to have 0 0.1 over 2 times 0 0.05 plus 0 0.01. Oops, no, that's 0 0.01. No, that's 0 0.01. 0 0.01. Okay. Times 100. Okay. So this, it ends up as 0 0.1 over 0 0.1 plus 0 for 1, 0 0.2. And it can be reduced to 1 over 2. So I have 1 over 2, 100 revolutions per minute. So the final answer is 50 revolutions per minute. Okay, so that's problem 6. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you, have a nice day.